Good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. My name is Corey Provost, and I am a candidate for the City Council District of 41 uh, in Brooklyn, which is the neighborhoods of Brownsville, Ocean Hill, Bedford-Stuyvesant, Crown Heights, and East Flatbush. And uh, just to get jump right to the question, has Brooklyn left us behind? We, I, I don't think so. There's so much, I think, still left in Brooklyn um, when we think about what we can do from an art standpoint, when we can utilize the city as our, as our canvas. You know, there's so much property, so much uh, space. We just think we have to rethink how we're going to utilize uh, some of this open space. So, you know, I was proud to be with Artbridge uh, earlier this year. They unveiled a mural at the Lancaster Hughes houses. And I think when we, th when we look at how we have, again, just space that is there already, that is empty, that is somewhat barren um, in, in look, we can invite local artists, neighborhood artists, to come in and do different kinds of projects on that kind of uh, space. So I think when we look from the city council, you know, as a council member, I would love to be able to sponsor initiatives like that, where we're just, again, bringing, uh, rethinking how we're looking at art and uh, art utilizing the city um, in, the, in that way. Thank you. your hands if you are willing to be a co-sponsor to Ben Kalis' City Spaces Initiative to create a searchable database of unused or underutilized city-owned spaces. stances on issues facing indie theater and the performing arts in your campaign's website and literature. Sure. Thank you. We'd appreciate it if you actually use the term indie theater, too. Um, <laughs> you support the commission of a comprehensive impact study for independent theaters similar to the one recently published by the University of Pittsburgh on culture and arts impact on New York City neighborhoods. Yes. Yeah. And read that study. Uh, you support campaign finance reform and getting big money out of political campaigns at all levels. Yes. Uh, you support adding indie theater artists to the qualifications to get approval for affordable housing. You, help, you support helping indie artists find ways to purchase affordable places to live. You support expanding the theater subdistrict fund to include arts organizations with budgets below $250,000 a year. Um, and you promise to see at least three indie theater productions before the elections, including, but not limited to, uh, my production of Martin Benton, Martin Benton, here in this space, July 6th through the 23rd, 7 p.m. Tickets are twenty or twenty-five thousand. <laughs> I think when I think about the forty-first council district, we have uh, pockets, right? So we have these pockets of, of spaces that people can utilize already. We have the Brownsville Heritage Center. We have the Weeksville um, also Heritage Center. And you know, a lot of programs and a lot of activities go on there, but I would love to see a historic district within uh, this councilmatic district in particular, where we can get that as the, the, to be just like the official space where people know you can advertise it, put it through city publications, create uh, real coalitions between the already people on the ground that are doing a lot of the community work. There are people that go day in, day out, that plan, put on productions, put on um, various uh, efforts to make sure that there's some kind of programmatic uh, things happening in the community, but now it's just tying them together, really getting a real strong coalition going, then we could see how we could tie in, again, city council funding um, or through the mayor's office to get the, the, a real strength, a real push behind it so they could get the word out about what's going on in the community. Uh, I don't think we need, I mean, I would love new space, new um, uh, development within the district that could um, go towards this, but I think we have space. We have things, again, that just have to rethink what we already have. There is so much retail space um, for the, that the city has already within this, within this district, or we could just utilize it a little better, whether it's utilizing the community centers, the senior centers, to house um, some of these uh, initiatives. I think we can do that within this council district. So I would just like to see that all just come together through a strong coalition um, building.
So first, I just want to say thank you for having me. Again, my name is Corey Provost, running for City Council in the 41st Councilmatic District. And you can tweet me, you can Facebook me, you can LinkedIn me, you can, I can give you my card after this meeting. Um, and I'll again have my contact information. I love, to, I'm open to the dialogue. I encourage the dialogue um, around this matter. So I, I, you know, I'll definitely be a friend to this organization and as well as to its members independently. Um, and just to wrap up, you know, I believe I've had one of the strongest track records of the candidates running in this race as far as it relates to arts education. Uh, I formerly worked for New York City Comptroller Scott Stringer and one of the first audits that he put out um, when I began there also and just happy to be part of that team was one that analyzed arts education and the lack thereof of arts instruction in Central Brooklyn and South Bronx schools. And based off that report, the city council, uh, the council members were able to uh, add an additional $25 million to arts education um, for our public school system. As oh, thank you. I'll take the one clap. I'll take the one clap. I'll take it. <laughs> and, and lastly, you know, um, you know, as also on the education front, you know, in my district, we have fought against co location opportunities from the city to help push back against um, public schools that have been that may have lost their uh, art space.